Good morning, modern steaders. Can't believe it. Yesterday we got above freezing, and last night we stayed above freezing. It's 37 degrees out right now this morning. It's been at least two weeks since we've had above freezing temperatures here. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> I bet all the animals are gonna love this little warm up today. The sun's supposed to come out and be nice. You girls are gonna like that. Come on, Willow. Come on. It's been two weeks since we brought Willow to the breeder for her first date with the buck. So I'm gonna open up my buck bomb. Which, the buck bomb is a rag that I wiped a buck with so it would have a scent of a buck. And I wanna see if she's in heat, if she cares about it, or... She doesn't seem to care. I'm gonna leave it right here. this next week I want to keep checking her with the buck bomb and seeing if she's in heat and if she is we'll have to bring her back to the breeder if not that should mean she's pregnant one of the other things I noticed when she's in heat her milk production drops and right now her udder is nice and full So, so far, it's all good signs. Willow is showing no interest whatsoever in that buck bomb. She's like, nah. Nope. In the past, when I bring the buck bomb over to her, she'll go up to it, she'll sniff it, and then she'll start hanging her tongue out and licking the ear. Today, nothing. Fingers crossed. I hope it works. Yeah, I hope she's pregnant, don't you? Don't you? Yeah. Baby goats. You coming to check on us, Figaro? Coming out? You should. Chickens are like hanging out on the grass. Put some feed out here for them. Look at that. Moose even decided to come out. So ducks like they put food in their mouth, dirt in their mouth, and then they go to the waterer, get water, backwash, and make a huge mess. So if you don't want to be cleaning, so if you don't want to have a big old nasty dirty waterer, don't get ducks. They are the worst culprit for dirty water. That's one of the reasons in the summertime we let the ducks free range by themselves. So we don't have them dirtying up the chicken's water. So we got a few more Christmas cards. You gonna open them? Yeah. And then we got a pack.
package for Olivia. Some earmuffs. Got a digital thermometer. Thanks, Sparkle Farm. So I can keep our meat thermometer in the house and not use it for my other projects. Gina's been driving it around with one headlight out. We need to figure out. Which one is out? And if it's an easy fix or not. I'm hoping we don't gotta take the front of the car all apart to access the ball. I turned her headlights on because hers has two different bulbs. So I wanted to know which one was the high beam, which is this one, and the low beam. So driver's side, low beam is out. And can we sneak our hand in there? right there we might be able to I'm hoping I can get this out without having to take half the car apart. first thing we gotta do is we gotta remove the wire plug and twist uh, the ball if you can see in there any better Right there, see how it's got three slots? The bulb itself has three different shapes. So it goes in and you turn it like a quarter of a turn and it locks it in place. The filament doesn't look too bad. It must just have one little burnt spot in it. This one is an H11. Lucky for us, I got a whole little tote full of bulbs. This one's a 9,005, and this one is, this one's an H11. Let's see if we can find one without a harness on it. Uh, same one, H11 right here. Oh my goodness. Took it twisted in place. There we go. I've worked on cars before, you gotta take like the inner fender off, the front bumper off. It's not fun. Not, it's kind of crazy that they make changing a headlight bulb on sudden cars a four hour job. You keep going in and out, Figaro. Alright, hopefully it works. Awesome. Awesome. Let's play with the new infrared thermometer. 34 on the car. Let's see what the snow's reading. 26. And the car? 34. That's crazy. No more padiddle. I fixed your headlight. What is it called? A padiddle. Oh, I think I kind of remember. Uh, Good, because I was getting nervous. I got you fixed. You don't have to worry about getting a ticket. Yeah. You only got one headlight. Why? What does that mean? I'll have to look it up. I'll ask <laughs> Google. She's got oh, same zip code. 03461. Says. It's a Canadian and American slang term for vehicle with a burnt out headlight or brake light. Two weeks, see if she's back in heat. She had no interest whatsoever. So 
hopefully, and her milk supply is still up. So the other thing I noticed is anytime she went into heat, her milk supply dropped drastically. And her milk supply is back up to, not like when we first got her, but it's back up to where it's been lately. How long do you think you start, we start noticing? I don't know, I'll have to research that more and find out. I wanted to get some Christmas lights hung up. But it's been too cold lately to do it. Today, I finally warmed up. Let's give it a shot. I ended up picking up some of these plastic clips and I'm hoping, yes, they can go right here, we can put the lights in. Oh, it, it's always nice when things go as planned. It's a nice blue sky. Maybe we can go over here and then work our way up with the lights and then down. Make a breadstick? Yes. For lunch. You want me to do the cheese? I think it's on your list. No, no pepperonis. No. It's no beef jerky. Oh, it says no beef jerky. Maybe this ladder will help. Oh, no. Oh, man. I'm surprised it did that. Bummer. Oh. Can't reach. Dip he goes. There we go. So we got solar Christmas lights. The sun's right there, so I'm thinking if I can mount my charger over here somewhere, it's going to get the most sun. I'll put the wire down below. Be 
hang that. Sweet. If we can get this down and around here. And figure out a way to mount this. Oh, something like that. And like that, a ladder move. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, our on off button is there. They'll only come on when there's no sunlight. All right, I'm hoping I can get uh, these lights over one more. Bummer. All right, can I? Set him on the ladder. There we go. Stay. Okay, here we go. Definitely not something I normally do is hang Christmas lights. By no means am I a professional at this. Awesome. Curious if that would happen. Let's try this again. and my 16 pepperonis. Definitely gonna have enough lights to do it one and a half times. Maybe we can go all the way up and back down. There we go. 
go. Awesome. So if we do it like this, I think we can wrap it. Yep. Cool beans. Nice. On double the lights, guys. Gina just said lunch will be ready in a minute, so perfect timing. Oh, like, what's he doing? <laughs> so his eyes, like, what the heck? They're breathing. Like, <gasps> I am? No, the pepperonis. Oh, I thought you said I'm breathing like that. No, I didn't know. That's what the pepperonis are doing. They're stuck in the Don't we have to cut them now? Can I cut them? Sure. Should do it. I don't think these clips would hold any more lights, anyways. Perfect. Love it. Ugh. We'll wait till it gets dark out and we'll come back outside and see what it looks like. They look good. They sm it smells really good in here too. Delicious. I think everybody's already getting cabin fever with the weather we've been having. No, I didn't, not today. That's pretty cool. The outside light's so bright, you turn it on, and it shuts the lights off.
<laughs> I really like those Christmas lights. We're gonna call them outdoor lights because we're gonna leave them up all year round. <laughs> if you think I should put them on the goat barn, leave them in the comments down below. I ended up buying four strands. We only used one so far. But I like it, looks good. Thanks for watching and supporting our channel, guys, and we'll see you right back here at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.